Okay, I'm going to try this one more time. Hopefully there's sound on this one. So as we go through to solve some of the square root and cube root problems we've been working on, remember our job is to get the radical by itself. So in this one, I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides. So then the radical of x plus 3 is going to be by itself, and on this side it's going to be negative 7. Now remember, we said there's a couple times that you need to watch for extraneous solutions. One is when your square root equals a negative number. This happens in this situation. No matter what I put in for x, there's no way the square root of it's going to equal a negative 7 or a negative number of any kind. So on this one, your answer is going to be no solution. Now, on ones where there's more than one r, you can see on this there's more than one r. That means when we're done, we've got to check our answer. So in order to start this problem, remember, I need to get the radical by itself. So I'm going to add a 1 in front of that r, and I'm going to add 1 r to both sides. So 56 minus r here, and 1 r there. Now that the square root is by itself, I'm going to square both sides. So this is 56 minus r, and 1 r squared is going to be 1 r squared. Now I'm going to add a 1 here. Now remember, we like to be able to use menu 3, 3, 1 when we have something that's squared. But that only can happen when we have an equal 0, and we don't have that in this case. So I'm going to move this 1 r squared to the other side. Now I have a 0, but now I kind of have a hot mess of stuff right here. Nothing's in the right order. So I'm going to rewrite it in standard form. If you don't rewrite it in standard form, then there's no way your answer is going to be correct. Okay, because you can't use this without that happening. Now, I'm going to use that menu 3, 3, 1, and I know I've got to put in negative 1, negative 1, and 56. Now, usually when we do this menu 3, 3, 1, we end up with some kind of a set. So let's hope that's true. Okay, let me see if I can balance this so you can see my calculator. Okay, so here's my calculator. I'm going to do menu 3, 3, 1. That stays on 2 for the degree, and then I have to make sure my second one is always on complex. Then I'm going to go put my numbers in, so negative 1, negative 1, and 56. So I end up with negative 8 and 7. So in my set, negative 8 and 7 which means r equals negative 8 or r equals 7. Now our problem is we need to check both answers. So we need to check it for negative 8 and we need to check it for 7. And I'm going to start by going up here and getting the equation again and writing it right underneath it. That way I have exactly what I'm going to plug into. So in this first one, I'm going to take my r's out, and I'm going to put a negative 8 in there. Now that means in both these spots, these are going to become pluses. So 56 plus 8 is going to be 64. And the square root of 64 is 8. Now we know 8 plus 8 does not equal 0. That means this answer right here has to be extraneous. So let's hope our other one works. So I'm going to take these R's out, and I'm going to put 7's in. So 56 minus 7 is going to be 49. The square root of 49 is 7, and 7 minus 7 equals 0, and that checks out. That means this is your only real solution. Okay, now on this one, I don't have two x's. 
I, at this point, don't have a negative number equaling my square root. So nothing that would lead me to believe that I need to check my answer. So I'm going to start by getting the square root by itself. So I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides. Once the radical is by itself, square both sides. And then to get x by itself, I would just have to add 8. So my answer is 89. Now those are the square roots. Let's change to cubic roots. So in the cubic roots, it's the same thing. We need to get the radical by itself. So I subtract 4 from both sides. Cube root equals 5. Since a radical is by itself, I'm going to cube both sides. So it's going to be x equals 125. And that's going to be your final answer. Okay, now in order to get the radical by itself in this one, I'm going to have to divide by 9. Then those cancel. So the cube root of x plus 2 equals 3. And then I'm going to cube both sides. So x plus 2 equals 27. Subtract 2. x equals 25. Okay, go over your other examples and foldables, and we'll work with this.